is up Marvel Universe fanatics, it's Ash Rock back with another review. This is going to be on the Marvel Universe Vision. Now this figure came out in wave, uh, or series number two, wave number one I believe. He came out along with the uh, Warpath, the X-Force Warpath, Jean Grey and Sunfire. We'll get to all the specifics at the end about how hard he is to find and all that other mumbo jumbo. Uh, I know it's been a couple weeks since I've done a video, but shit has just been hectic. Apparently driving around in a white van with no windows, bags full of candy, and me and my Pokemon boxers in front of uh, elementary schools is frowned upon. So, whatever. They just didn't like the Pokemon boxers, but, you know, my name is Ash, and I collect them all, bitches. Uh, <laughs> there's a Pokemon reference. All right. No, but shit's been hectic for me, man. Just this whole house house hunting thing, and just it's just been wild. I, I can't explain it. And you guys know me. I don't like to give you guys bullshit reviews and rush them. So uh, I like to make it a gem every single time, all right? So here he is, the Vision. Uh, this is for you, Mr. Russ Green. He is like the biggest Vision whore there is. Um, <clears throat> he fantasizes about Vision. But um, so we'll start off with the paint apps. Uh, the paint apps on this bad boy are absolutely phenomenal. Um, now, you know, you guys know Vision is just pretty basic colors, but the way they pulled it off with this guy, um, with the green and the yellow, very, very bright, pops out like crazy. I mean, this figure stands out. If you stand him next to other Marvel Universe figures, in particular, like, say, like an Avengers setup or something, he, he just stands out. I mean, he just, it's Vision, you know what I mean? He's just glowing. Um... So yeah, very, very bright colors throughout, uh, and then the face, the head sculpt, let's zoom in on that little bad boy. It's definitely uh, red in the face. He's pissed off. He really is, but uh, very demonic looking, but cool looking too, man. I mean, you can see a little diamond on his forehead there. Really, really cool. I love the way that came out, so excellent, excellent job with that. And then the diamond piece in the, in the center of his chest right here, really, really cool as well. Uh, digging that big time. Um, the cape. Again, very solid colors. Uh, mine, I actually bought this one. I had two MOCs. I ended up selling one, uh, keeping the other. And then I bought this a while back, uh, loose. So you can see he's got a little paint, uh, you know, throughout a little, uh, you know, discoloration, I guess, right there. You can see. So, but still not a bad figure. Uh, not bad with the paint apps. I do dig them big time. Um, so for paint apps, I'm actually going to give them a four out of five. Really, really cool. Uh, very just glossy, just pops out at you. Um, articulation, he's got the ball joint up here, upper bicep, single jointed elbows, wrist rotates all the way around, head rotates all the way around. It, it, it is limited a little bit by this cape, which is, uh, you can remove it, obviously, you pop the head off and take the cape off if you want. Uh, he's got the upper ab crunch thingy-majiggy, no uh, waist articulation. He's got the hinge here, double jointed knees, uh, and the foot rotates all the way around and uh, up and down. With the up and down, very little. Uh, so for articulation, I'm going to give him a 3 out of 5. This is an older mold, uh, so I can't discredit it too much. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, I can't grade it based on the new molds that we have right now. Um, oh, by the way, I'm also a little sick right now. If you guys notice, I'm really nasally. Nasally. Waving, <laughs> glaving. Um, so uh, final score on this bad boy. I'm going to give him a 3 out of 5. Um, now, if you want to find this figure, you're going to pay a hefty, hefty price. He's very expensive. He's very rare. Um, him, along with the X-Force Warpath, are very, very hard to find. Probably the two hardest figures to find, other than exclusives like Archangel or Nick Fury. Um, very, very difficult to find. I mean, he'll go for... I've seen him go loose for 60 bucks. I've seen him go in package, MLC. Upwards of $140, $150. I'm not kidding you guys, which is fucking ridiculous. Um, that same wave with, with uh, Jean Grey, the X-Force Warpath, and Sunfire. Um, forever, the all four of those were really hard to find. However, uh, Hasbro did release a a, um, a revision. A uh, revision, get it? Because uh, he's vision, and I just threw the word re in there, and I made it re... I'm stupid today. Okay, um... But they did do a revision with uh, with um, Jean Grey and Sunfire. That's why you could find those figures so much easier, and they're not as expensive. But uh, they did not do that with the Warpath and this particular figure. 
The Warpath got re-released into a variant, the the X-Men costume variant, which is pretty easy to find. You could probably find him between 15 and 20 bucks. Um, and then they also did come out with this bad boy. So this is the this is the the variant vision here. Uh, I actually like this one more. I like clear figures, uh, in particular someone like Vision who has the ability to, you know, phase through stuff and, and do his little, um, you know, stuff. I mean, this is an absolutely awesome figure. Uh, what they did too is the, the green tint throughout, you could see it just, it just stands out, you know, and then even in the face, he's got a little bit of red there in the face. Um, but this figure is absolutely sick, dude. I, I love this figure. Uh, this came out, um, I want to say right before the, the Doctor Strange Astral uh, figure came out, astral form uh, figure came out, but this is really, really cool though, I'm digging this big time, um, <clears throat> but anyway, so, I guess the question is, why didn't they come out with this guy here, you know, and they, they gave us this guy, which is cool, thank you, thank you very much Hasbro, but why not give us another vision, and the X-Force Warpath, you can say, you can get that in the um, X-Force 3 pack, it's pretty much the same figure, except it's less glossy, um, and it's more of a matte finish, or matte finish, whatever. Um, but Vision here, you can't find him anywhere. And if you do, you're going to pay a hefty, hefty, a crazy, you're going to pay crazy prices for him. I don't recommend you paying those crazy prices. Unless you have the money and you're that desperate for it, do it. I would hope that they would at least come out with a uh, another revision of him. Or just come out with a new figure. Come out with a whole new mold. Using the new mold, it would be awesome to see uh, a new vision with a new mold. Uh, he is a pretty badass character. I like him a lot. And then with the Scarlet Witch coming out and everything, she looks kind of tall compared to this guy. So I, I would hope that they would uh, do something different. But uh, who knows? Um, speaking of scalpers, there's a there's a scalper right now who's selling the Professor X Blastar and Jubilee Wave. Believe it or not. Um, I'm not going to call him out completely, but I'm going to say straight up, this dude's full of shit. Um, I can't, there's one thing I can't stand is scalpers and how much they charge the collectors. And that's why it makes it, uh, it makes it difficult for you folks to get certain figures. And I think that's absolute bullshit. So shame on you if you're watching this video, seriously, dude. Um, you know, I don't even know how he got that wave before the other two waves. I mean, Craven wave and the, um. The other wave, I forget shit. It's been so long. I mean, we haven't had a Marvel Universe figure in forever, and I know I'm going on a little bit of a rant right now, but I don't care. It's been a minute, man. The only, the only, uh, the only figures that have come out have been the uh, light up uh, bases, the uh, Avengers light up figures that came out, and then um, I'm gonna stand him right next to his brother. There we go. Um, yeah, those light up bases ones came out. They got the Black Widow, the see through Iron Man extremists, and then uh, I believe Captain America and Hawkeye. Um, and then they have the the Avengers pack that came out, the Walmart exclusive, which I haven't had a chance to grab. It's got the Hulk in there, the new Hulk, which uh, I really really want. If, if you guys see him, let me know. I don't feel like paying scalper prices, but uh, hook a hook a brother up. I'll be glad to review it too. Um, but it's been a bit of a bit of a drought, man. It sucks. It sucks balls, dude. I mean, it's absolutely terrible. Uh, it's been a while. The only thing I can think of, honestly, other than the fact that you know they weren't going to compete with Legends, they weren't going to come out at the same time and, and push both products at the same time, which I've talked about before. But perhaps it's also the Avengers movie, uh, if, if you know what I mean by. The Avengers movie comes out, so they're going to have Avengers figures come out, and then, you know, kids go watch the movie, they go buy the figures, and they figured they figured that it would be a smarter business tactic. I mean, other than pushing out Avengers figures, Marvel Uni new Marvel Universe figures, new Marvel Legends figures, and having them kind of compete against each other, because, you know, in most cases, people can't afford to buy all those figures. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, it seems like a tactical move, but I could be wrong, so who knows. Anyways, the next video... Not review, but the next video will be...